Nintendo Power. That it is. It's an old Nintendo Power from the N64 era. Nice. Where'd you, yeah. How'd you get your hands on that? Um, funny story. Back when I was living in um, the Lenexa area, we um, one time we'd go to a recycling place, and they had a stuff for recycling, just magazines. So we were just throwing out some recycled bottles and I think some other stuff. And I took a peek in and saw, and I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna grab a handful of these," and they ended up in the trunk of our vehicle. Oh. And I kind of, I have maybe four or five left. I, I read through if I find a good article on something or a game that I think I want to play at some point and pick up, or if they have a really cool um, – Nintendo Power always did these really neat um, middle posters. I would sometimes collect the middle posters. So, like, for this one, it's Turok 2. Oh. So I might keep that one. Turok 2 is a really underappreciated game. You think so? I think so. It, it, I feel like it has better gameplay than Turok 1. There wasn't as much platforming. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Plus, I also just like the um, comic books. I mean, who doesn't, Jeff? Who doesn't? Turok is a great comic book. So, um, and I know that everyone here at home, whoever is watching, can't probably can't hear this. I won't say they definitely can't, but probably can't. Um, Jacob is laughing his ass off downstairs. Oh yeah. To, and to, to us, or I have no watching idea. something else and getting a kick out of it. I, I guess because oh, it started before we went live. I'm oh, guessing. So, so so it's probably maybe he's on the phone talking to somebody and he's having a good laugh at it. I mean, maybe. I can say I personally can't hear him. It's it's making me laugh, though, just to hear him laugh. Does he have a unique... Well, yeah, his laugh is kind of unique. And loud. It, it carries. It does carry. Oh, it carries. Yeah. It carries. Mm -hmm. oh, so I've been told uh, that it is no longer spooky season. I know in your heart it will always be spooky season, but according I to am offended. But according to the calendar date, spooky season has passed. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, in your heart it will always be spooky season. And way, to, wearing... way, way to match the shirt to the hat. Oh, oh, it gets worse. Oh, I'm sure it does. I'm wearing my ghost face sleepy pants. With my ghost face shirt, with my ghost face hat, and Michael Myers socks. And, and, and as Key said, the calendar's wrong. It, 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 exactly. She knows. She yeah. knows. You you and her are cut from the same cloth to where if you had your way, every day would be spooky season day. Oh, most F. A hundred percent. Like, I feel like, Keys, we should make that happen. <laughs> I'm writing a petition. Now, I, I say that Knowing that full well today, I watched. You could technically consider it horror. I mean, I always have considered it more of, um, <laughs> of and, and, and because he actually mentioned it, I did watch Event Horizon today. I finally got around to doing my rewatch of it. Oh, Sean's going to be so proud of you. I know. I know. I will say something that disappointed me, and it, it deals with it deals with streaming services. Okay. Is so whenever I, I usually go to Hulu, Hulu's my go to when I look for movies. And it says, Oh yeah, we have it on Hulu with an add on of stars, meaning they don't have it on there. It's yeah, part of lie. stars. It's part of stars. And then I went to and then um Event Horizon was made by Paramount. So I was like, Oh, maybe it's on Par Paramount Plus. It says that it's on Paramount Plus. But you can't find it anywhere on Paramount Plus. I'm not sure if it's a uh, one of the higher tier. You know, you pay for more to get the more. Like if it's a uh, exclusive. But I looked for it on Paramount, and it was nowhere on there. Um, I so, want to say that I just saw it on something. Well, and that's the thing is, so I went to my Google TV to because I was like, okay, at this point, I'm just going to rent it. 
and they show, oh, there's three days to watch. And one of them was on the Paramount Plus way. And I was like, nope, not, not from what I saw. And unless I was looking at something different, it was nowhere on there. So I just ended up doing the rental because I did have some Google credits from my Google Rewards app. And I was like, oh, this costs nothing out of pocket for me. And I'll rent it and I'll give it a good watch over. Let's see here. Now, this isn't the first time where a movie has done that to where it said, hey, we're part of this streaming service, but it's only part of that with the add-ons, with the, you're already paying $12.99, but for $16.99, you can also get these other things. It says it's on uh, Prime. It's on Prime. Oh, I didn't even think to look on Prime. Oh, Jeff. I know, I failed. I usually don't go with Prime because usually it's one of those, like, you can rent it on Prime. I mean, I can see that. Because but... like, YouTube does the same thing. I know. Where right? it's, oh, you can watch it on YouTube, but really it's you're renting it through YouTube service and paying $4 for it. But, but overall, I did enjoy my rewatch. Um, I think it was about 15 years the last time I watched Event Horizon. And whenever I watched it, um, I was over at a friend's group and we were doing a group watch and he was like oh yeah this is one of my dad's favorite movies and so we watched it and i think more than likely it was just i ended up talking to the rest of the people in the group more than actually watching the movie it kind of played in the background more that than anything. happens with us a lot and and that's the thing it's like i'm telling keys oh i'm gonna watch this do you want to watch it and then she ended up going and um having a thrift day with her aunt cynthia and uh, her aunt best friend Yep, her aunt, best friend. And then, um, ah, see, oh. with the star subscription. Hey. Right, but Amazon, okay. Prime, Amazon Prime will claim that they have it. These streaming services are getting out of hand. Right, like, I remember when Hulu first came out. It came out, and the big reason why I remember it is because I want to think it was Baldwin. It might have been somebody else, but I'm pretty sure it was Alec Baldwin was doing the commercial for it during the Super Bowl. It was a Super Bowl commercial ad. And, okay. it was, and it was like, oh, this whole alien concept, other planet, otherworldly, about the idea of being able to stream a show for free. Because at that point, Hulu was for free. That's how they all start. And then it became quickly, oh, it's... It's four. It's now, and I, if I remember, right, it was three ninety nine or four ninety nine with ads, and then seven ninety nine with no ads. Yep. And then you know it started becoming oh, and you can get these things and these things like like it, it shows now the star subscription, the show. I remember subscription. when Netflix was like seven ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. I also remember whenever Netflix was seven ninety nine, and you could multiple people could use accounts on it. Now that's yep. becoming a whole thing with Netflix to where it's a few countries and they're trying to eventually get it to come here to America to where let's say you and I both had a net, you and I both shared a Netflix account, right? Okay. How they want to do it is now instead of you and I both having a Netflix, the shared Netflix account, it's either I have one, you have one or, Hey, you're, you're sharing it with somebody who's not in the house. Now, instead of you paying nine ninety nine. You now pay thirteen ninety nine for sharing it with multiple people. But because how would they, they know that? Because they could base it off of how many people are on there and where I'm streaming it from, where I'm getting the net, where I'm getting my connection from. More or less the UR, more or less the URL or whatever that they can base it back to. Oh, this is on this internet connection. Now it's on playing through this internet connection. Well, that's dumb. Right. I agree. Because that's the thing is Amazon Prime is the complete opposite way. They're like, yeah, everybody use our service. We don't care if it's one person, one person paying and you have 25 different. Well, maybe that's the exaggeration of 25. But, you know, you have five other people using it. We don't care. Use our service. Yep. Netflix would be dumb to uh, to do that, though. Yeah, but this is. 
we, we say that'd be dumb of them, but this is also the same company that has gotten rid of so many good movies because they got solely focused on their Netflix originals. But that's what I'm saying is like, if, if they were to try to be like, nope, you can't do this anymore. Like I could go without Netflix, to be honest with you. Cause everything else I watch is either on Hulu, Vudu, uh, prime Apple TV. Like I can get it almost anywhere else. Right. So there is a show that I haven't started watching yet, but Jaden has talked about it and I think I might watch it at some point because they said that it's uh, one of the, one of the people who had a big um, part in creating avatar is uh, plays a big part in the creation of this show as well. It's called a, a dragon prince site, something like that. I guess the new season's coming out and they watched the first one and they're like, Oh yeah, you should, you should watch it. It's pretty good. So I might have to give that one a shot. I rarely ever watch um, uh, I, I rarely ever watch anything on Netflix now. You're right. I I tried to watch the first season of Umbrella Academy and I just couldn't get through it. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Now, there is a new one that is coming to streaming tomorrow, actually. I thought it was coming out today, but it is coming out tomorrow on Roku and that is the new... Weird Al Yankovic biopic called Weird, starring Daniel Radcliffe, of all people, as Weird Al. <laughs> Sorry, I had to share his comment again. The Last the Dragon. Last Dragon Prince. It's pretty okay. good. I liked it. Okay. There there are a couple like uh, shows on Netflix that Jamie and I have been watching. Um Um, the bastard of the devil himself. Okay. Uh, it's a very British show. Well, okay. So the question is, could you watch it on BritBox, or is it a Netflix original? That's a British. It's show. a Netflix original. Okay. Okay. Um, but very, very British. Very British. Okay. Uh, not bad. I mean, you know how I feel about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, like, like I said. And you don't know, it could be on BritBox. It I very mean, well it, could be. It, it, with it being a Netflix original, I doubt it, but it could be. Like, that was the thing, I think, with uh, whenever I first watched Gurren Lagann, um, an anime, an, actually a mech anime, and I'm usually not a fan of mech animes, that I actually highly enjoyed, and I'm pretty sure they were only showed it on Netflix. If I look now, it prob- I wouldn't be surprised if it was on something like Funimation or Crunchyroll. Let's see here. Now, I, and, and I, you and I might have talked about this before. I think you might have asked it either on the show or possibly off if I had BritBox, which is a streaming service that I don't have at the moment, but I have considered it in the past of getting because, yes, I enjoy watching British television. I can't remember my Netflix password. That is worrisome. Do you just automatically have it logged in on like your TV or something? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Whenever I upgraded and switched my phone from my from my old one to the new one, like it it, it, it sends all the services, like it sends all the apps over, but to log in, you have to redo it. And I spent a good like three hours being like, wait. Which, which password did I use for this one? Did I did I use a unique character on it? Yeah, I have the same problem. Yeah. Because, like, and that's the annoying thing is because some of them you're required to use a unique character and then on other ones you're not. Like, you can't. So that always throws it for a loop. You still can't figure it out, huh? Trying to crack into your own Netflix. What the f- <laughs> I bet if I went on to uh, these, I actually share it with Jamie's mom. Mm. Where's she at? You think she would know it right off the bat? No, she's asked me for it so many times. 
that you probably haven't saved in some message that you sent her. <laughs> Not going to lie. That's whenever um, Jaden wanted to buy the new Scream movie. And they were like, hey, do you, do you know Max's voodoo password? I had to scroll through our old messages and be like, I know he sent it to me at some point because because the time that I stayed over at his because the time that I stayed over at his place. Yep, yep. Oh, it was actually for whenever actually Scream first came out and it was on Paramount Plus before they just put it onto the Showtime one. I had asked so that way I could do the homework of watching that one before so that way we could do the review of it. And so yeah, I would just scroll through and like, okay, it has to be here somewhere and finally came across it. It has to be here somewhere because I'm wanting to look at the shows that Jamie uh, is like, oh, this looks good. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. And we've tried it and we've finished like two different shows. God, we video chat a lot. (laughs) Is there a search button on here? (laughs) Um, is there on Messenger where you can click on the person's name and start to search any kind of message or keyword? I don't even know. I bet I bet Jamie would know the damn password. I don't. Mm. I know the password. Do you have caps lock on or something on your computer? Nope. Okay. Not 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 to give away any kind of secrets. Is there any numbers on there, and is it number locked? No, I've already checked all that. Okay. I, I, I'm, do, I'm doing computer IT with you, troubleshooting. Right. <laughs> is, your spa- is your space bar pressed in? <laughs> you got your caps locks on there? I'm going to have to, like, reset my password, and then, like, everyone that has my Netflix is going to be fucked. Yeah, that's... That's how it goes sometimes. Oh man! Oh well. I mean, I'll, it'll come to me. I can't. I can't think of it. But uh, am I using the right pa- the right email? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll look in the clear. Oh well. Maybe I could just Google top ten Netflix originals. Oh, okay. All right, so we were watching. My mouse doesn't scroll anymore. I mean, Sex Education is a pretty popular one, and I did enjoy the first two seasons of that show. Like I said, I couldn't get through Umbrella Academy. I don't want of all time. I want right now. Oh, there it is, right now. Because if you go off the all time, of course they have Tiger King at number one. I'm sure. Yeah. So we've heard of the Watcher. We haven't watched Dead to Me. Haven't watched that one. Unsolved Mysteries, of course. Big Mouth. The Sandman. We did watch the Sandman. Okay. Oh, Neil Gaiman's uh, The Sandman. Yeah. Uh, very British. Very British. Yeah. Lock and Key, we haven't like gotten back into. We only watched the first season. Um, blah, 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 blah. Did not watch The Last Kingdom. This is not of right now. What the hell? Because Umbrella Academy is on here. I mean, so is Ozark. Oh, yeah. Okay, if Ozark's still in the top ten, then probably not recent. God, it, it's all of these crazy things. Like um, the one we're rock- watching right now has D- Zoe Deschanel in it. Okay. Uh, and she's a a therapist for a hospital. Mm. And a girl gets brought into the hospital, and she has a freaking pentagram carved into her back. And some weird shits happening. Honestly, outside of New Girl, that's the only thing I really know Zoe Deschanel from. She's never been an actress I followed. 
All right, IMBD. Never fails me. Netflix fails me. <laughs> and that's why you're like saying you'd be okay without it. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, I have I have so many shows where like yeah, I have my list of shows that are on Netflix, and I feel like maybe thirty to fifty percent of them are probably on some other streaming service somewhere else, either Roku, Paramount, Hulu, something like that. Um, okay. It's not Zoe Deschanel. It's Emily Deschanel. Okay. They look almost identical. Devil in Ohio, that's the name of it. I can say I've never heard that one. Though I don't like I don't keep up with the what's trending on Netflix. If if you decide to go perusing Netflix, I mm -hmm. highly recommend Devil in Ohio because it's creepy, but it's not so far fetched yet. Okay, so I there is one show and I just thought about it that I feel like even though because I know a new season is going to be coming with it, Stranger Things. Stranger Things is good. That would be one to where if I didn't have Netflix, I would be a bit miffed about. Yeah, but now you like it's so popular, you can find it other places. Yeah, like, but you can't find it through another streaming service because it's That's a true. Netflix. It's a Netflix that, original. That's true. You ever, like, be looking for something and, like, you're just so obsessed with it? Uh-huh. Okay, so she's signing into... There's a picture of her signing into Netflix right here. Oh, okay. But won't the password be... It won't... It'll, it'll have the circles or the stars instead of saying what the password actually is. Or did she take the eye on eye on eye icon off so that we you could make sure that, that was the right password? I know everybody that that could went and paused where you showed the phone and took a screen grab, and now they have your password. No, nope, because it was just stars in that one that I showed you. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's just weird because, like, it even says on here. Now, granted, this was March 30th of 2021. Right, so there's a chance you might have updated your password for whatever reason. Right, but I think I would have, like, sent it to her and been like, hey, mom, by the way. New password. Right. Right. Whenever you try to log in to watch Netflix, you're going to get told that, that you have to put in a new password. But who knows, like all of the conversations that we had, like all of the uh, video messages. Right. It might have happened during a video call. Right. And it wasn't written down. <sighs> you know, this is why I've kept like all of the same... Yep, that's why I try to keep the same password as much as I can. And if it's a variation, I know it's one of three to four variations, and it'll, one of them will get me in. Did that one work? You and the Netflixes? It worked. Nice. Okay, now to go down to the stuff I was watching. Okay, so Devil in Ohio. Um, I started watching the Unex the Unexplained with William Shatner, but I just can't get I've, over his voice. I've been wanting to watch that one. I saw a trailer for it on something else and was like, ooh, that's kind of like the Unexplained Mysteries, but with Shatner doing it. Yes. So I the also watched... Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Yeah. We also watched uh, Cabinet of Curiosities. Okay. That was a little bit strange. Is it one Even of the originals? Um, well, 
Del Toro made it. Okay. And if you know anything about Del Toro, he's a huge uh, like horror movie director. Yes. Um. So he made, and it's I think it's like five episodes, but each episode is a different story. Oh, okay. Yeah. He that so that's based on his books that he did a, as well. Yeah. Right. Because they do um, the same thing with well, Strain is different because it is one continuous storyline. But yes, Cabinet of Curiosity is a book that he wrote. That he yeah. did. so they turned it into a series. Good on them. Yeah. Anthology, uh, anthology series. We watched The Curse of Bridge Hollow. I enjoyed that. That's the one that with the Wayne's brother that you were telling me about. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm still upset about 20 Days Haunted, but that's besides the point. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh, it's the bastard son and the devil himself. That's that's what the it's British called. one. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's 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 sci-fi. It has to deal with uh, so there's like two groups of witches. You have the uh, fairborns and you have the blood witches. Okay. And then like they refer to mortals as like fane. Mm. Which. So 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 it's very fantasy feeling. Right. Um. So it's not bad. It, it's not bad. It's it's enjoyable. But I'm really liking Devil in Ohio. Like it has like a thriller feel to it, more than a paranormal feel to it. Well, whenever you first said sci-fi, and I was like, that's fine with it when it's when it's British sci-fi. They they've made some great ones. I mean, Doctor Who has been around for as long as it has for being that. Um, Red Dwarf is a great British um, comedy sci-fi. Red Dwarf. Yes, Red Dwarf. It's um, more or less set in space in the future, and it's very, very comedic. Is it about is it about a planet? No, it's about a sh- spaceship called the Red Dwarf. I feel like I feel like they misnamed that. But who am I to judge? Yeah, no, it's it's a fun show. Um, not all that long. Um, I think it had one kind of a spinoff series to it, if I remember right. Um, but overall, it's it's very British humor, but I enjoy that type of humor. To be honest with you, like, there's only one British show, show that I really enjoy, and it's not even British. It's Irish. It's Browns Boys. Yeah. That's uh, my favorite. I'm trying to think. I mean, of course, Sherlock. Well, Sherlock's more... Real, real crime fantasy over, well, real crime fiction over sci-fi. I didn't really get into Sherlock. Um, the Robert Downey Jr. movies kind of, kind of okay, killed that for me. The, the, Sherlock is not like the Robert Downey Jr. movies at all. It, it helps that Cumberbatch is a great actor. Yes. And knows, and knows how to play the the, the Sherlock Holmes role so well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, some which, of the things that they come up with are just weird. Which is still such a missed opportunity that whenever we first have the Robert Downey mm-hmm. Jr. Cumberbatch in um, the Doctor Strange Iron Man part, that we never got a no shit Sherlock line out of it because that would have been beautiful. Oh, missed opportunity, MCU. Totally missed opportunity. I'm writing a letter. God, I should start writing down all these letters that I have to write. <laughs> you might need a couple of pins. I might. I got a Sharpie. <laughs> write it bold enough to where they'll take you seriously. Yes. You- do better in your joke department. How dare you? So I, I moved my Michael. Yep, yep. More, more, more of you. I got a, a couple new things from Spirit Halloween closing. Oh, okay. Um, you can't really see it, but there's a uh, right uh, there. Uh huh. Is it trick or treat? Right there. Uh huh. Is it trick or treat poster? Okay. And then there is an actual latex Freddy mask. All right. Uh, and then right there is some bats, because I freaking love bats. It's bats. There's an alien skeleton right here. Okay. Wait. You know what? 
I'm like, I'm like, don't reach for it. But I, oh, okay. I thought you were meaning like a xenomorph kind of from Aliens, like a. Oh no no, like like an alien. Okay. And I was like, oh hi Connie, love you too. Like, I was like, if you had that, that would be awesome. I mean, my office is pretty awesome. Right, right. I, I'm not, I'm not down in the awesomeness. But I, if it was a some kind of scale, skeleton outline of a xenomorph from Alien, that would be pretty epic. Yeah, that'd be badass. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to pull all of my my Halloween, well, all of my stuff mm -hmm. back into my office since it's no longer spooky season, as people keep telling me. Well, like, I'm looking through. I'm, I, I, I feel like I have it. I might have given it to a friend with something, but I used to have a little um, figure of like more, more like a goofy kind of figure of it of a xenomorph that you know, like um, kind of like a Funko Pop style kind of doll, like the cues right. that they did. It was something like that. But I'm not see where Jeff. What you got me for Christmas is right. Here, yep. The little Frankenstein miniature. Yep. yep. Oh, the light. It blinds us. It does. Like, how are we supposed to be good and evil when my my room is light? Yeah. Good, you, with the white background. Yeah, with the white background. Evil, me. Dark background with Michael Myers. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. mine has, you know, all, all, the, the, the good finding of evil. Look at all your stuffs. I'm starting to get some more. I need to hang up some more things and just do some stuff. I'm just still trying to figure it all out. Every time, like, because we went to Spirit, it was the 50% off last night. Mm -hmm. I got to shut my door. Hold on. So it was the fifty percent off, and uh, of course I I went ham because it's Halloween, right? But not Halloween ham, right? No, not Halloween ham. Um, so I got a shark onesie. Uh huh. Got sharks. Sharks. So now I have my outfit for Shark Week. All right. And we got a couple costumes like that were like literally. Super cheap now that you know Halloween is over. Well, and then I, I got the mask. I got the mask for like just a couple bucks. Right. So I wish that um, I, I I would have thought, hey, go to Spirit on the you know its last day for the fifty percent off because yeah. at, at the at the murder mystery party. Sean was wearing a pair of Zumbas that he said he got as Spirit. And as goofy as it was, I was like, I kind of want a pair of those because those would just be the most comfortable, goofy kind of pants to just wear around the house whenever I'm just, you know, feeling in that mood. Oh, man, Sean's costume was just... Oh, it, it, it was it, just it, epic. It was, it was great. I loved it. Yeah, I think he definitely... Like, if we had a, uh, a costume contest, I think he would have won. Right. Like everyone's costume was great. Like I, I, I don't know. Down. I don't know. Jacob might have won it just because of the extreme nature of it. I mean, you're not wrong. So uh, I really wish that I had pictures. Listen, anyone who was at the party who has pictures, send them to me. Yeah. Because um, I failed and forgot to take pictures. However, I think your wife took Jacob, some pictures. Jacob was Jessica Bunny. Yep. So he was in a red evening gown with a red wig and makeup. And, and a necklace, and makeup. He, he did it. Look, I'm not going to lie to you before y'all showed up. He had the shoes on, too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's just he said his feet were starting to, like, just not fit great in them. And walking around was nigh on impossible. And, and I get that. But like, and, and I'm glad that you know, like you know, he was just like, "Yep, I tried it." He gave it the try for it, though. And he said on. he was he was 100 percent dedicated, and he really was. He was so hats off to him. Most dedicated player award goes to Jacob. 
Yeah, agreed. I mean, me, I got to wear, wear a t-shirt and jeans with pointy ears. No, your ears were on point, bud. They were on point. And Jamie's costume, my Jamie, yeah, absolutely amazing. Park. Knocked it out of the park. Man. She had the mannerisms ah, ah, down ah, of Elvira. Ah, I didn't think it was possible for my for me to love my wife more. <laughs> it was great. I felt like I was married to Elvira, which made me very happy. Wait, 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 which, come on, let's be honest, that's always been your secret. Well, but not even secret dream. That that's been your dream. Oh, she's my future ex-wife. Right. And for as old as she is to still look that damn good, it, it's remarkable. It really is. She must really be a witch. I believe it. Well, uh, as the the YouTube, well, not YouTube, but the Facebook videos that I sometimes watch, makeup is a crazy thing that can practically do anything. It could turn anybody into anything. So, I mean, no. I'm not saying it's all under makeup, but I feel like makeup probably helps a lot in that case. No, listen, like I'm gonna I'm gonna pull her up. You're gonna be shot. Have you seen Elvira? Like she was in something on VH1 like two or three years ago that I saw her with, and she was still. I mean, she was doing the look that she does, and it still looked good on her. But it still made me wonder. You know, it it, it had me wondering a little bit of how much of this is, you know just really good quality makeup to make it look like that. Okay, so we all know this Elvira. Right. That's what she really looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, considering age, yeah, still looks great. She looks amazing. Yeah. And my wife nailed the look. Nailed that part. Yeah, she did. Yeah, we're talking about you, babe. We're also talking about how Elvira is my uh, future ex-wife. Oh, okay. Well, you gotta eat. You gotta have me as an ex-wife first. Well, you're already my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, but now you're my wife. Yeah, but now you're my wife. Okay, we got dinner. That's how that works. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um, I think everyone did really well at the party uh as far as their character goes we had a couple people who have never done like a murder mystery or anything like that before right and uh the fact that they like were comfortable enough and like got it you know it just says a lot it's always nice whenever you know for for a lot and you know keys included in this one um uh, kind of out of their comfort zone doing the acting part um Playing a character that, you know, it, it, it can be, it, and staying in that character for, you know, a, a decent amount of time can be a bit, can be a bit hard, to be quite honest. Oh, yeah, it really can. But, I mean, everyone did so great. And yeah. Ben's did, Dr. Ben's did great. Um, I feel really bad for Josh. Uh, <laughs> I do really feel bad for him. We, Sean did great. I mean, fucking Stone. S Scott was amazing. Scott uh, got Jamie, into it. Jamie's were amazing. Yeah. Becky was amazing. Like, everyone did really well. Jaden, Jaden's outfit is David Bowie. So good. So good. Like, everything they, was so they, good. They researched so much into getting the 80s Bowie look to be that look that they were going for. They, they got it good. How uh, crazy is it that David Bowie went from Ziggy Stardust in the 70s yeah. to prim and proper in a suit in the 80s? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was what was described as his gentleman era. Yeah. Yeah. Just crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's, it's one of those where – so I'm reading um, – well, actually, I just finished a couple of days ago, Ready Player Two. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. And not, not to spoil too much, I really don't – I mean – I don't feel it's a spoiler, but essentially at one point they're having to deal something with Prince, the or the artist formerly known as Prince. And, and Ready Player Two? No. Yeah. And they have to battle against seven different versions of Prince. And so okay. like they're they're listing off all these different versions of Prince that they could possibly de be dealing with. And they're like, oh, it could be third eye prince, it could be uh, the Revolution Prince with Purple Rain. It could be this, like, just all these mesh-faced prints. And I was like, 
yeah, he really did go through a bunch of just different iterations of himself. I feel like I feel like a, a lot of artists that have been around for a long time mm -hmm. do that. I mean, here, I mean, even Snoop Dogg or Snoop Lion or Snoop, whatever he's going with now, has done that. We, we saw that happen with, um, who was it, Jay-Z, I think, did something like that not too long ago where he was changing up his style and how he was doing his stuff. Yeah, he did those weird, like, twisty dreads. Yeah. That was weird. Um, I mean, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, P. Diddy. Diddy. Yeah, Puffy. Yep. Um, I mean, hell, even to an extent, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, you get the Jackson 5 Jackson and then the kind of different ones that he was going through while going through that. Yeah, you get different kind of Michaels. Yeah. I mean... I think if you're relevant for long enough, you have to change. Right, right. If you if you want to still be considered, I guess, in the circle, you kind of have to change. Uh, I mean, even within the realm of country music, you see that a lot, where people talk about, you know, oh, they don't like X style of country music because it's because it's changed. But those who see that the, that change has to happen in order for them to get the fan base that they're hoping for, then that's what they'll do. I mean, I agree with that to a certain extent. Like, and I'm one of those people, I do not like a lot of pop country. Right, right. I, um, I, I, I will say the same. Like Taylor Swift, they're saying she's a country artist. No. No, she's a pop princess. Right. That's now, just me. That's right. That not a fan of his music. Now, I do enjoy some of the songs that Taylor did whenever they were saying she was country, but I don't consider that a country song. I just consider it a good song. Right. I would never, I would never put it on a country top forty, but that's where they were putting it. Yeah. The problem is, the problem is they're putting it on the country top forty, and then they'll they're putting it on the Billboard Hot One Hundred with like other you know but then again the billboard top 100 has always been more of a anything can go on there yep but they I mean, tried to play it in, in, in that way that it was both oh you can listen to it on your pop station but then you could turn and listen to it on your country station i mean to be honest with you i'm, I'm not a huge fan i mean everyone knows this about me i'm all i'm all about my movies mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not a music fan i like music but i'm not a music fan you know Right, right. Or I'm not like, oh my god, I have to go see this band because they're my absolute favorite. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go to a concert because I like I like music. Um, but if you would have like, okay, Max, here's here's a movie, or here's a concert, I'm a hundred percent picking the movie. I cannot say the same. I mean, it would depend on who's playing in concert and which movie it is. I mean, at least yeah, for, at least for me, if, if you're taking like a one shot opportunity, OK, this is the only time you're going to be able to see this movie. This is the only time you're going to be able to see this concert. I'm going with the movie. OK, OK. I mean, and that doesn't happen because of streaming services now. Right. But like, I swear one one year for my birthday or maybe someone else's. I don't even know. I just want to do it. I want to rent out a movie theater. Yeah, um, well, speaking of which, I believe you can, I mean, it is a smaller movie theater, but I think you can do that at the Regent in Wellington. He has rented it out to people for events before. Yep. Even AMC on North Rock will rent out theaters. I don't know how much it is. Right, but right, it. right. I don't know. In, in my mind, I would imagine that a small one-screen theater – in Wellington, Kansas, it would probably be cheaper than a multi-screen, larger theater in Wichita. Well, see, you're only renting out that one theater. Right, right, right. But I'm still saying, like, as far as what you would imagine the cost would be for them to do that. Hell, if that's the case, I want to rent out one of the screens at the drive-in. 
That would be pretty awesome to do. That would be epic. Somebody get a hold of Starlight. Just just be able to say all you know, just rent out one one screen for one night and just do a drive in for only you know, invitation only kind of. Yeah, and it would have to be like a Tuesday or some shit like that. Yeah. Let's see. Black Adam Ticket to Paradise and Halloween ends. So far, those are the oh, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. What the drive in? Yeah. Might be an anniversary thing, like the blank anniversary of it. Let's find out. What's today? Uh, Thursday? Unless, uh, unless they're like doing a showing all the Harry Potter movies for something and they're showing one a week. I don't know. Well, I know they, they do a lot of things for like the spooky season. Right. Let's see. Thursday, Friday, new movies. Ticket to Paradise, Halloween Ends, Black Adam, and Harry Potter. Okay. Saturday, same. Sunday. Sunday, they're holding a private event. Oh. Um, Somebody already took my idea. <laughs> I'm curious what the private event is. If it, if it's Because sometimes for that, it might be them showing you know a movie. I don't know. Maybe they're using the venue for something else. Well, Star One, which is their first screen, uh-huh. is Ticket to Paradise. That's um, George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Okay. Uh, and then Halloween ends. And then Star Two, their second screen, it just it says, says private, private event. Close to the public. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. We need to find out how much one of those costs sometime. Do some big movie thing. Right. I know next Friday... Not this coming Friday, but next Friday uh, on Star 2, they're doing Wakanda Forever and Thor Love and Thunder because Wakanda Forever does come out. Um, technically, the opening day is November 10th. No, right. I was like, it's either November 10th or November 11th. I saw a trailer for something. I want to think it was for the Dr. Pepper cans. That they're, yeah. No, not, it's either Dr. Pepper or Sprite. It might be Sprite. Cans. It is Sprite. I have a, even the Sprite Zero ones are in that, my garage. That, that have the... That have the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever look to them uh, for the movie, and they're like, go see it in theaters November 11th or November 10th or whatever it was. It was one of the two days. Yep. I think I have to work on opening night for that. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure of it. Okay. So, maybe I'll get a glimpse. Maybe. 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 I mean, it depends on how busy the theater will be and what they'll be having you do. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be busy. One, it's a movie theater, and two, it's opening night. Right. Well, one, yes, it's a movie theater. Two, it's opening night. Three, it's what it's considered. It's you know the sequel to what's considered by many their favorite MCU. Well, Marvel movie. For a lot of people, Black Panthers. The movie. I, for me, never really was. It, it, I mean, I like Black Panther. It, it, it's, it's just one that I felt like the plot was, was soup thin. I mean, I liked, I liked Black Panther. Um, but, but I think for me, a lot of that plays into, I didn't read the comics all that much growing up. Yeah. Like the way that I did with, you know, like whenever I was watching all the X-Men movies, while it's not MCU, I was reading a lot of the X-Men comics. So whenever those movies were coming out, I was really into them. I mean, the, the same can be said for me with Spider-Man. Like whenever, not Holland's by cause by that time I had gotten more, you know, just into Marvel in general. But whenever the Maguire ones came out, I really just wasn't reading Spider-Man. It wasn't my go-to Marvel comic back then. So the Spider-Man movies, while I enjoyed them, I really wasn't as like hyped up about them as you know, say Deadpool whenever they were doing Deadpool and it came out, or you know, um, Hulk or Thor whenever those ones came out because I was reading those comics back then. Right. Um, I've always been excited for Spider-Man's. Uh, I, I that was my favorite superhero growing up. So. Um, the one thing that I don't like is, in I believe it was Civil War, mm. 
is when you got to see Black Panther for the first time. Okay, yeah. And he was already established, basically. Like, oh, we were supposed to know who the hell this was. Right, right. And then two years later is when the Black Panther movie dropped. Right. Um. So, I mean, but that's always an issue with MCU. Is they'll introduce a character so super early on, and you as a fan is supposed to... Oh, if you're really a fan of these of these comics, you should know exactly who this person is. Right. I mean, they have so many different different movie plans now. Like I'm looking at it. Let's see here. We're in phase four right now, the multiverse right. saga. Right. And that doesn't even include, you know, all of the TV shows that they're now doing. Eternals was the TV show, wasn't it? Eternals was not. It was the movie that came out after Shang-Chi. Oh, okay, okay. You're right. I was thinking of something else. So, okay, so we end with uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. um, so the next year basically starts Phase 5 for MCU. Okay, is that... So I, I am... Not not to jump ahead, the Ant-Man is supposed to be the... Enter the Quantumverse? Yep, Quantum Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania, yeah. Then you have uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. 3, yeah. Uh, the Marvels. Which I... There was talk that the Marvels was going to get released this year, and then they kept pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. Yep. Because I think they were hoping that Miss Marvel would catch more hype than it really has gotten on Disney+. Plus. Which, don't get me wrong, it's still fun. It's still a good, well-done show. It's better than She-Hulk Attorney at Law, but That's it doesn't... So but it doesn't sit on, you know, let's say Loki or um, I, I would put maybe Miss Marvel on the same pedestal, maybe as um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because while that one was good, it just it didn't feel like it moved the needle how it should. Oh, you might have Falcon being the new captain. Right. They haven't been foreshadowing that for the last years. Well, those are the only three MCU movies set to come out next year. Um, so wait, so it's it's the Marvels, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, three, and and, and, and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Um I thought that uh Black Knight was supposed to be coming out. Not according to this. Either Black Knight or Blade. Blade is not due to come out until 2024. Mm. So, so, they, so here, what they might do is they might do what they're doing right now, where it's three, maybe four movies a year, and the rest will just all be... Because we know that we're getting the second season of Loki. That's happening. Yeah. Um, I think we're supposed to be getting a second... I, I'm not sure if we're getting a second season of Hawkeye. I would love a second season of Hawkeye. I liked the first one. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be, as far as my understanding, they're not. Though, you know, who knows? They might pull a switch up and start doing, start making new ones for the ones that they did from the Netflix ones that they bought. But with the whole well, that. So in 2024, that we have Captain America New World Order. Okay, and that's going to be a series no oh, 2024 movies. so two years from now yes uh thunderbolts okay that's i think going to be the inhumans we get uh, we got introduced to the inhumans in uh doctor strange and the multiverse of madness with um black uh with um why can't i think of his name the guy who can destroy worlds from just his voice so it's I've never, based been, I've on, never been a big Inhumans fan. So, so it's actually based on the Marvel Marvel's comic team Thunderbolts. Uh, so it's a sequel to Ant Man and the Wasp, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and Black Widow. Okay. So that is uh, bringing up Phase Five, and then you go into. Let's see here. Let me go back to where I was. Stop getting in my way, Iron Man. Get the hell no. out of here. 
No, I have I have um, read because I looked it up because I was curious on it. They did Werewolf by Night um, as a Halloween one-off for their streaming service. And there has been talk of that is a plan to possibly do more because it's only like 58 minutes, only an hour long. You know, it's not a two and a half near three hour like a lot of our Marvel movies are now. Um, that they plan on doing more of those kind of things on Disney Plus as, yeah. as those. And I would be okay with that because Werewolf by Night actually is pretty smartly done. So Thunderbolts wraps up phase five. But in that same year of 2024, mm -hmm. you have two other movies that are coming out that are undetermined phase. Mm -hmm. So that's Blade and Deadpool 3. Okay. And so now they are going to be adding Deadpool 3 as proper into MCU. So that'll be interesting. Which means it's probably going to be a lot bigger budget. Right. Um, and we uh, already know that Hugh Jackman's supposed to be in it from the trailers. Right. And then Phase 6, they only have three movies uh, listed, which I don't know really how I feel about them. Uh, phase 6 is another Fantastic Four in 2025. <sighs> then Avengers, the Kang Dynasty in 2025. And then I, Avengers, Scarlet Wars in 2026. I think Kang Dynasty could be a good one. if It depends on how well they do introduce Kang and do all that in Loki Season 2. I feel like Scarlet Wars is about the Scarlet Witch. Possibly. So, uh, they got three movies right now that are still TVAs. Uh, you got Armor Wars, Spider-Man 4, and Shang-Chi 2. What was the second one? Spider-Man um... Spider 4. Okay. No, whenever you first said Armor Wars, it... I mean, I'm sure it's going to be Iron Man base would be my guess. Um, uh, except for whenever I think Armor Wars, it automatically makes me think Exo Man of War from Valiant, which is a completely different thing. The film is a sequel to Secret Invasion. Oh, so 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 Secret Invasion will be the series that they do on Disney Plus that deals with actually a really really good Marvel comic book line. Of secret invasion with the the race that can change. The one that oh, Ms. Marvel, yeah, from um, the one that Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel. Yeah, it's a bunch um, of them are coming to Earth and acting like humans and doing a secret invasion of Earth. So the Marvel one shots that they're doing, mm -hmm. the consultant we already had, which was Phase One. A funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer. That was in 2011. Uh, item 47 was in 2012. Phase 2 was Agent Carter in 2013. Mm -hmm. All Hail the King was in 2014. Phase 3, um, Team Thor Part 1, Team Thor Part 2, and then Team Daryl. Okay. That's, that's what I got for you guys. Special presentations, Werewolf by Night, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which is going I, to come out here next month. Yeah, it's coming out I, as their Christmas special. So TV series, we got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, because uh, they now have considered Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to be part of MCU canon. Agent Carter, Season 1 and 2, Inhuman, Season 1. Um, the Defender Saga is the Daredevil that came out in 2015. Yep. Uh, Jessica Jones. Luke uh, Cage. Luke Cage. And then Iron, uh, Fist. Iron, Iron Fist. And then the Defenders series and Punisher. Yep. So then you have uh, Runaways. Oh, I actually Cloak enjoyed Dagger. Uh, Hellstrom. WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, I Am Groot. I watched all four of those. I Am Groot is so great. I, I like that they made that into a little one-off. Um, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, sucked. I can't, it's, it's a tough watch. It really is. So this coming year, uh, <coughs> 
2023. We have Secret Invasion, Echo, okay. Season 2 of Loki, Ironheart. I am excited Agatha for Ironheart. Of Chaos. I, said, I said Black Knight, but I think it's going to be Ironheart. It's going to be that. Yeah. Uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Okay. Daredevil, Born Again. Okay, so they are doing the Defenders spinoffs, which I had heard talk of. Um, and that's like all basically a phase five. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but then under the undetermined phase again, you have Wonder Man. Okay. Vision Quest. And they are supposed to do a, un a Wakanda series, but they don't have a name for it yet. Hmm. They're also doing another Spider-Man animated series called Spider-Man Freshman Year. I did see that. I'm kind of excited for it because I did just finish the newest one that they had done that ran from uh, uh, 2017 to 2020. And then they have Marvel Zombies Season 1 coming out in 2024. I, I, I even read the Marvel Zombies, the volume comic and while it's an enjoyable read i i don't see the need for it to be a series i really don't i mean i know why it's they're doing it because about that's about it i i know why they're doing it because yes it, it, it sold a lot of merch it's different than what their most stuff is and because they can do it as a halloween type thing and be like ooh zombies well, there you go. Now you guys are all caught up on what MCU is going to be throwing at us in the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Since, since we're now technically out of spooky season, uh, shoot us some ideas for other things. As mad as it makes Max, um, shoot, shoot us some ideas for things that you would like to see on the show, things that we could talk about, um, any ideas that you would like to have us discuss. Yeah, if you, if you want to comment on Facebook and just use the hashtag uh, what mess comes hashtag what mess comes next, mm -hmm. uh, we we will look through those and find out what you guys are really wanting to see. I know we have a couple challenges that have been um, brought to our attention yep. that we're going to be in the in the uh, talking phases of to try to make that happen. Right. I, I, I know we had mentioned briefly at some point you having a little bit of homework with watching a couple of animes and see what you think of them. Yeah, I'm going to start that. Yeah, I, 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 I know it's not the, the easiest thing to do. I know anime is not your street. I'm going to have to find a day where, like, Jamie's not home because she won't do it with me. <laughs> okay, okay. So. Well, if you ever want to come over and watch them... You know that Keys and I are always down for watching anime. I'll have to keep that in mind. Sounds good. But uh, thanks, and everyone, and for and joining us. And especially if it's Death Note, Keys absolutely loves Death Note. <coughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. We'll have to All make right. that a date. Sounds good. But thanks, everyone, for watching. And join us next week when uh, we throw pies at Jacob or something. Ooh, I throw a contest. Knows? Yes. Yes. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Jamie.